Hey, Jet. Uh, now that you've had a chance to kind of sit back and rewatch the tape from your debut with the 49ers, what was your overall impression of your first game? Um, you know, it felt good to get back out there. It felt good to, uh, you know, be fortunate enough, blessed enough to score a touchdown. Uh, obviously, um, would rather come away with the win. Um, but, you know, we didn't execute good enough to come away, come away with the win. So, um, you know, today we're just about, you know, moving on to the Jets this week, correcting, uh, you know, stuff we already talked about on Monday. And, uh, you know, just keep it going into week two, try to find a win. She stuck like that. <laughs> Jerick, as a running back in the league coming up, how, how did you view Frank Gore and, and what were some of the things that he did um, that stood out to you and, and things you maybe tried to implement or lessons learned, something like that? I can't really hear him so low. From last week or just in general? Oh, yeah, I've seen clips of Frank Gore. Um, you know, his one cut ability is just amazing. Uh, you know, he puts that foot in the ground and he explodes. And then, um, you know, the thing that obviously sticks out with him, uh, you know, he's a future Hall of Famer, but uh, just this consistency over the years, you know, year after year after year after year after year. Uh, you know, he comes in there, he does the same thing, he proves himself, uh, and, you know, he gets the job done. So uh, I'd probably say those things. Hey, Jerry, you made some plays in the passing game and as a runner in the first game. How are you feeling physically? And then – how are you feeling physically just a couple of days after the game? And then where do you think you can prove as a player overall moving forward? Can you repeat that for me? How do you feel physically after the game? Yeah. Can you, uh, you know, the body feels good. I thought it would be a little bit more sore not playing in um, a long time. But, um, you know, I feel better than I expected. Uh, and then, you know, just, um, you know, things to improve off last week is just, you know, just um, stay focused and, uh, you know, be greedy. You know, I had a run where I got – Stop tackled on the one. I wish I could have got that in. Um, you know, that one kind of ate me really bad because, you know, if I score there, then, you know, we're obviously up some more points. So, um, you know, I just say, you know, when I get in that, um, get down there in that zone or, you know, the five below, ten in the red zone, whichever it is, just find a way to score next time. Eric, Jimmy was in here earlier talking about a little bit how he does some extra credit work with you guys, receivers, just to get the timing down. What can you guys do to have better timing going forward into week two, better than you did in week one? Uh, I just say just continue what we keep doing. Continue to do what we do at the practice. Uh, you know, get the extra work in. Um, you know, the reps during practice, you know, just make sure we complete those um, and make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, you know, there's nothing um, – I wouldn't say do anything different, uh, you know, just Sunday. You know, we didn't execute. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, it's going to be like that sometimes. So just find a way to execute and, you know, find a way to win the ball game overall. Hey, uh, Jack, you obviously you lost the season opener. Now you have back-to-back -back road games on the East Coast, and you've got, you know, some significant injuries to deal with. Does this feel like – I mean, I realize it, it, you played one game, but does it feel like a bit of adversity for you guys early? And, and are you curious to see how you guys respond? Uh, definitely some adversity. Uh, you know, we got, you know, Debo's out. Uh, you know, obviously last year, you know, it was a big piece for us. Um, but, you know, we got a lot of receivers and we got a lot of depth. So, you know, when the injury happens, it's the next guy up. You know, that next guy has to ste um, step up, you know, fill in that role and, um, you know, fill in that role as best as he can. So, um, you know, it's a little bit of adversity, but, you know, this team has been through so much adversity, you know, uh, since I even first got here. So, um, it's nothing new. Just got to find a way to uh, get the job done. Last one. Jet, just like that, with all the interactive pieces that you guys have been kind of ushering in and out, how can you guys get together and work on that timing? How hard is it to kind of synchronize again with all the new moving pieces? Um, you know, like I said before, I think the best thing we could just do is to continue to get together at the practice. Um, you know, just make sure everybody's comfortable, um, execute the reps in practice. Um, and, you know, that's just that's just what it is. Uh, I don't really have, you know, any answer around it or anything like that. Um, you know, just continue what we do and uh, just have a better show next time.